If you are under the age of 18 and are watching this video, please stop now. This content was not intended for you. Hey everybody, it's Tamika and I am here to share with you some um, products that I received from Arteza. Um, as you know, I am in an ongoing collab with them and I absolutely love working with Arteza products. Um, I say it and use them all the time. And I will link all of the products that um, I've used today uh, or in this video or shown in this video and I will link the videos that I've done um, so you guys can check out some of the other awesome items that they have mainly I love working with their vinyl so um, today I chose some different items um, and so I'm going to share them with you now just opening these so in this first package oh this is going to be so fun I picked up some silicone molds and keychain. Um, it's a silicone mold and keychain accessory kit. So if you watch my live, I bought some resin from Amazon um, and I was playing with that and it had like a little, I had a little, little mold um, that I was using there. And I'll show you what I was using on that video. It was these little um cake molds and then someone told me that and they work fine and i would normally i would use this anyway um in the future because they're little little tiny letters that i like um to put on like keychains or add to like little charms and things like that but someone told me the reason why i had to keep queuing it or pressing the button for it to to keep um the uv lights is because the mold needed to be clear so that's why it was taking so long so when Arteza contacted me and asked me, you know, what I wanted to work with this time around, I was like, oh, they got some new products in. So let me check it out. So this is their kit. Um, it's 37 pieces. It contains a circle mold, a hexagon mold, a square mold, um, an alphabet and numbers mold, some pipettes, some finger tabs, keychain rings, drilling tool, and drill heads. So I'm going to go ahead and get this open so we can see what we're working with. And I like these large, larger letters, really fun. So the circle molds, I guess you can use these for, let's see, what kind of things can we use these for? Well, it's, you can use them for coasters if you'd like, it has a little divot in there. Um, I can, um, there's a square one, same as well. And there's silicone, obviously, hence the name silicone. Um, these have these tiny little squares on there. Well, this will be fun to play with. So it goes this way. This goes this way. So we'll see. We'll see what kind of trouble that we can get into this with testing out. I've never seen any of these types of molds before, except the letter ones. So um, this is the hexagon. So we'll see what we can work with that. I see a few videos coming up with some ideas. Um, so I know I'm not gonna do everything all at once. So that's that. And then we'll open this one here. I'm gonna keep these plastic wraps. That is huge and it goes this way. I like that it's backwards. I've seen some molds where they're, you know, facing the right way up and then you kind of got to figure out, um, you know, how you want things to be placed to show what's on the front of your charm. But this way you work from the bottom, the front backwards and the front is super flat. So I like that. And it's um, all the alphabet and zero through nine. Yes, yes, yes. And then here are some of the other things that they were talking about that comes in the kit. Oh, those are the, what are these called again? Finger tabs. So you would just, you know, roll that on here. Roll that on here like this and then, you know, do what you got to do with, without your fingers getting dirty. So you get 10 of these. Pretty cool. You don't have to wear a whole handful of gloves. And then you get your pipettes. Uh, you can do, you know, pipe in different colors into your molds. 
they're really small so they'll be able to get into those grooves and you have your key chains your key uh rings yeah and then it even has the little eye the little screw down here to be able to you know drill in the top and then speaking of drill I have a, a, a spinning or electric drill that I normally would use, um, but this is, does the same thing. You, it's, it's just a hand drill, and you tighten this. You, you put the little uh, bit in here, tighten that, and then you would just turn it in there to make yourself a hole so that you could put your keyhole in. So, But I do have the one that I got from Creative Mojo Wholesale Studio still, and that's the one I'll probably use but if you don't have one those work just the same honey i'm just lazy <laughs> so that is awesome lots of cool stuff here so i'm gonna put this away and then i'll show you what else i picked up all right so for the first thing i picked up some mica powders which i am so excited to play with these it's a 60 piece mica powder set and it includes chameleon colors you know those colors that kind of shimmer when you move them change kind of colors a little bit and um depending on which way you turn it so yes so so fun okay you get 57 colors um 57 metallic colors three chameleon colors and one measuring spoon so there, I believe there was a mica powder that was not metallic, but you know me, I gotta be extra. So I got the metallic ones. Um, the pigments are packaged according to weight, not volume. So some pigments are naturally heavier than others and can settle over time. So these, this is showing you that depending on how much metallic is in the color, um, how they look, you'll say like, well, I got less blue than I got orange, but orange is way more pigmented or, or have more, um, metal in it so that's basically what they're saying oh this is the tiniest little spoon <laughs> look how little this is i just like it because it's super little <laughs> it's, a little spoon. it's my mica spoon i pray i don't lose that i might have to put a charm and a magnet on the back of that but look at these beautiful colors they are so gorgeous I'm going to quickly, now this is going to be sped up times 20. I'm going to quickly show you these colors. Okay. Or maybe they have them. I didn't even see if they had them on the back. Yeah, they do. Look how beautiful. I'm going to snap that there for you. So, so pretty. I want to see some of these. Let's pick up a few of these. Let's pick up some of the pinks and some of the mints. Because you know, you know I was going to do that. I was going to do that. Look at this pretty color. Frosty mint blue. How gorgeous is that? Look how much is in there. It's going to last me forever. And then, let's see. What other color? Ooh, look at this. This says sage glow and this says periwinkle glow. It has this beautiful shimmer of a purple like kind of in it and I don't like purple but this is like an iridescent it's so pretty this is so cute and this is um turquoise let's see Ooh, this is light gold Ooh -wee. let's see what this one is probably go yellow golds so cute bronze Ooh, what is this crystal white this can make some good um, shimmer mist. If you haven't seen my shimmer mist tutorial, that would be good. Cotton white, because it has ballerina glow. This has a bit of a iridescent with pink in it. Look at this one. Rose gold. Let me see a baby pink. What is this one? Oh, this is probably, ooh, chameleon red. Oh, oh this is the, the colors that has the, like, the two... And this is chameleon red. Oh, we get two of them? Oh, we get two. Two chameleon reds. Okay. Um, What's another Aztec gold? What's another? Ooh. 
aqua blue that is so pretty i can go through these all day <gasps> bubble bath pink ah, so pretty y'all get the gist this is silver really really beautiful colors beautiful so yeah if you haven't um champagne if you haven't checked out the shimmer mist tutorial these would go great with that so i'm excited to play with these that's going to be fun so i can't wait to do that and then um here is the other thing that i picked up this is um oven baked clay guys have you ever seen me play with play with clay no but you about to see me play with clay now y'all <laughs> Yes, I'm telling you, Tamika 2022 is self-caring for me. These are things that I always want to try. So I have a, a idea for this. It's a 42 oven bake clay uh, colors. So I was really excited for that. I even purchased a um this little um this little thing here. It's supposed to be able to help. I got this from Amazon. I haven't even opened it. Did I say HSN? Oh, I was going to say, did y'all get this? So it's supposed to be able to, you put your clay in here. It's a sugar paste, a sugar, I guess. But you put your clay in here and it comes out with these different, um, kind of like a frosting tip. But it's tight because, you know, your clay is tight. So, but I learned a couple tricks on how I can loosen it up. And I'll share those with you when I do it. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Is there a sucker? Yeah, I'm looking forward to playing with this. So 42 oven bake clay colors. Look at these beautiful colors, guys. Ah! Make sure your hands and work area are clean before you start. Um, knead the clay until the texture is soft and smooth. Shape the clay by using tools from your kit and bake in an oven safe glass or metal surface at 325 for 15 to 30 minutes. Do not over bake and then they give you oven bake clay tips if you use your qrc code oh you get some tools you get some fancy tools oh here's a little what is this what are these things so this is these are things you can use to roll and form and cut and do all your clay things that you need to do you get a five-piece tool here. Oh, I can use this for a bone folder. Look how sharp that is. <laughs> Two in one. And then you can do like, they have just little impressions. And what, pray tell, is this? Let's see. I don't know what this is. Is that a button? Oh, it's a pen. Oh, so, oh, they give you some things that you can use to do your clay thing with. Okay. So, oh, okay, cool. Oh, no, no, no. So, there's some beads here. You can make, you know, a little charm, whatnot. They give you something to make a keychain. This is a, a, a pen. You could do a little ring, a hair clip. Um, this is a charm. Uh, you got earrings and you got eye pens. Okay, I didn't even know that this came with that. I gotta start reading because again, I didn't know the the resin kit that I bought <laughs> that I did the live with the other day had um uh, a silicone molds in it. I was like, oh, bonus. Well, I just know what I wanted. I was like, this is what I want. This is when I need it to be here, and I need it to be a prime. So, kind of like that's whatever else come with that is just extra. So, look at all these beautiful colors really really cute it's just layer upon layer how many pieces 42 of these so beautiful the slime yellow cute oh look at this beautiful gold let's see we got green and white and honey and gold lime yellow apricots sunset yellow dark blues cyan blue um, I was gonna say cardamom, but that's cadmium orange. We got peach, and this is softer than I thought that they would be. You know how you get some of the clay that's super hard, so this isn't too bad. You can see, I'm kind of trying to roll it, it's not too bad. Um, 
olive green it's a beautiful color parakeet green bumblebee yellow turtle green elephant gray really pretty really pretty Ooh, bubblegum pink noir which means black bubble bath pink i like that bubble black bath denim blue um royal blue red all purples are all purples to me but lavender night sky blue bright blue basil green okay tomato red milk chocolate burnt umber dolphin gray titanium white that was zinc white pale green we got orange copper blush pink and autumn red beautiful beautiful colors so um yeah i'm looking forward to playing with these give you a nice it's one ounce nice little chunky thing you don't need but a you know get your little get your little knife and just cut off a little thing i already know my first project i was looking forward to it so uh, I don't know which one's going to be first. I don't know if we're going to play with resin or if I don't know if we're going to play with clay, but we're going to play with both of them. <sighs> I hope I know that some of you guys are like Tamika. I'm not going down another rabbit hole with you. So don't even <laughs> like don't even bring me there. But I'm sorry for, to those so far that I've uh, brought down the resin rabbit hole. But <laughs> You might as well get your shovel, honey, because you're about to go real deep right now. So um, if you don't want to go down the hole, then put your cards away because I'm playing. I am playing with more than paper and I'm excited about it. So I'll have the link to all of these items uh, down below. The resin um, accessories kit, the mica powders and all of their gorgeousness and this oven baked clay. I also have the link down to this tool that I'll be using and also um, for this and then also the resin. Um, I'll bring that link back out from the live that I did the other day. So if you're interested in watching that and how that worked out, you can check that out as well, too. So uh, stay tuned for all that and more on this channel. I hope you guys will, um, you know, come with me on this journey. If you don't want to go down a rabbit hole, just watch me go down a rabbit hole. Child. All right, guys. So we're going to get started. I'm going to make um, a few keychains here um, playing with this resin. I'm going to give it a go because I got a better silicone mold. And like I said in the intro, if I kept it and didn't delete it or edit it out because I've chatted too much, I've tried this uh, resin before, but I was using like cake molds and I guess that wasn't the best choice for the resin and lights that I had. <clears throat> so now that I have the real mold, which are supposed to be clear, I'm going to give it another go because I do like how like the keychains turn out when I see people do them when I watch, you know, some other art types channels. So now I'm just getting some, some cups cut down. These are the little cups you get from the Dollar Tree, the mouthwash cups, um, or what we use them for, little mouthwash cups. And I'm going to make, I'm going to make, um, some mixes. You know, when I do stuff, I just can't be normal. I, I I'm gonna make one normal one. Let's do that. I'm going to do a few of them here. So for this first one, I'm gonna do R. Um, let's do my husband a keychain and do one in black for him. And then I'm gonna do one for Kyla and one for myself. So I'm gonna try to do a couple different things here. So what am I doing right now? I'm going to start out with making the mixes. You know, this is new. So be patient with me. Mm, I was going to try to do like three at a time, but I'm going to be normal and uh, do one at a time with normal people. So I have my UV resin and I'm going to put some. Can you guys see? 
I'm going to put some in this cup. It's like a some. That's all I said. It's just some. I don't know if it's just some. Anything that I have extra, I'll put in something else. But honestly, I doubt I'll have extra. It's a big glitter. I'm going to do a little bit more. Okay. And then I'm going to use the black. What is it? The Noir. So we have this Bica powder I'm going to use in Noir. That's French for black, in case you didn't know. And I'm going to take... <clears throat> I'm going to break this in half because uh, I don't need... I can use the other stick for other things, or the other side. And I am just going to put, like, that much. Maybe that not that, That's a little bit. Stir that around so it gets really dark. And if I need some more, I'll put some more in there. Oh, it's turning, it's turning dark rather quickly here. All right. So I'm gonna take this and pour that in my R. If you guys can see me over here. And I'm just going to do all black, nothing else for his. And I knew I wasn't going to have enough. I knew that wasn't enough. I'm just going to try to fill this bottom layer at least. And then I'll come back and mix a little bit more. And now we can pour the rest in there. All right. I'm just going to wipe off like the top. It's not touching anything. It's flat, but I just want to make sure it doesn't like stick to something. And I got to go back and shave it, <laughs> all of that. So I'm going to try to squeeze the rest of this out. It's nothing but a little morsel left, but I wanted to use it all. I'm going to take my lighter and just pop the bubbles. The best I can. All right, so that's that's uh got all the little bubbles pop. I'm gonna take my little light here and I'm gonna set that on top right over it and let that do what it needs to do. Meanwhile, I'm going to um I'm gonna do a K, dang it, that's under there, as well as the T. So I'm going to wait till that cures and I'll be back and prepare for the other one. Okay, so I got done with the R um, and I took it out. I put another little coating on the top um, and then put it back in for a couple minutes. So the first time it took about, it took it out at like five, you see one, two, three, so three, about five minutes. And then it had this tiny little bit of wet, like, oh, darn it. So I was like, well, since I was going to cover it anyway, you could see like a tiny little spot here where it was wet at, but I was like, since I was going to cover it anyway, um, I went on ahead and did the top coat and then it just cured all together at the same time, that spot and the top. And it's super cute. So what I'm going to do now is just, uh, I'm going to put all the keychains together at one time, um, but I'm going to cure them all first. So I can go ahead and get that out of the way. Put this on here and then I'm going to spray it with a little alcohol and then Wipe it down. Just want to make sure I get all of like a, any leftover resin that's on there and whatnot. Just polish it up. Honey, and she's gorgeous. She is gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to set that aside for now. And then we're going to work on, we're going to work on Kyla's K. And I'm going to do a different color combo for her. I'm going to do, let's see, some kind of a mint or turquoise color. That's too blue. So it's one of these. I think I'll actually do, I'll do this turquoise color. 
So I'm going to use this extra fine glitter. And then we're going to do a clear. All right. Got it. So let's see am I in frame here. I'm going to pour some clear in this cup. I'm going to do a layer in here of the um, clear resin by itself. Like a little shabby little layer. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to put some glitter in there. Just a little. Okay, it's spreading. Let's help it along a little bit. Okay. And then with this, I'm going to mix this green, uh, this turquoise color in here. Whoa, what a pretty color. Isn't that cute? So shimmery. And now I'm going to pour this in there. over top. Ooh. And hopefully it'll come out with that glitter up there in the front and, you know, kind of swirl it through a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit of clear at the end, kind of make it look a little hollow, like crackle. Just gonna finish this out. All right, and then um, just put a little bit of the clear. I don't like the cavity. Ha! Like how that's gonna be. All right, I'm gonna turn you guys off. I'm gonna put her on some time. And I'll be back. Okay, so I'm going to take this off. And then I, I, I just tap it. Make sure it's hard. And then, oh, it's coming off. It's hard. Okay. Then I just go ahead and take it off. Yes. So cute. And then I'm going to put another layer on top of this. And then at this point, you can add more, um, you know, glitter if you want. You can add whatever you're going to do. This is your seal the deal moment. So I'm literally, I'm squeezing a little bit and then I'm just rubbing it so to meet the ends. And then that's a little bit there. I'm going to take this stick and make sure it reaches the edges. Can't see very well through this angle. Let's pick it up. And then I'll just smooth all of this out so we can have a nice smooth K and make sure this hits, hits all of that. And then I'm going to uh, fire it up a little bit. Make sure all the bubbles are out. Okay, that looks like it's nice and smooth. And actually, I'm gonna two birds, one stone over here. I'm gonna put that there for a second. And then I'm going to work on the tea and put them both under the under the heat at the same time. And then for me, I'm gonna use, I couldn't decide which one. I think I'm gonna go with this gold. Uh, it's a yellow gold, and then I just know the pure gold is cute, too. I have a little charm that I want it, this to go with. I'm going to go with the pure gold. I'm going to go with the pure gold, and then I'm going to go with the crystal white. And um, I'm going to fill my container up with my little with my little resin. This bottle is hard to squeeze, like... <laughs> I got it off of Amazon. It's, it needs a larger pin. Pin nose. Otherwise, I should just open this up and pour it, y'all. It's working all my muscles. 
just going to use this up first for a little bit of that in here and then i'm going to grab the pure gold take a little dab i want it to be a nice vibrant gold this is super cute i'm going to do one more for this white that I want to put in here. This is crystal white. Just uh just a little smidge more. All right. So, I'm going to start out with this gold because I want it at the bottom. All right, it's there. And I can feel more in that later. And then I want it to kind of fade into this white. All right, it's there. It's there. And then I want my clear kind of go over the top here. And then I'm gonna add my white back down here in the middle. And then the gold. This should be cute. And then I got this little morning flammable. Maybe I shouldn't do it. It's like a it's for painting. But I want to try it. So let's see if we can drizzle a little bit of this on here. I did this with that other pour paint thing that I had. It's trying to drizzle a lot. I just don't want a little bit. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. I just want to mess it up. Let me see. I'm going to use this little pen. Let's see if I can just like marble some stuff all right that's enough let's uh let's cure it well I, i'm almost scared to fire it up I said it was flammable but <sighs> let's see all right let's cure it oh my god it's so irritating I wasn't recording. I took it out. I count down and everything. Um, so anyway, I took it out. And all I did was add some uh, clear resin. And now I'm adding little bits of glitter on here. And um, some flat back pearls. So same as the other one, but I didn't record because I got a text. And it messed up the recording. So... I'm gonna put some of these smaller ones on here. Ooh, too deep, too deep, too deep. These pearls are from Alina. Alina Cuddle. I need some of these to turn over, little guys. Just a spoon full of glitter. Helps the medicine go down. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Love it. Let's, let's tighten up the shop here and put her under the put her under the lights. Yes, I love, I love, I love it. All right, so this is what we got here. We move you guys in a little bit. All right, there we go. Cute. I love it. 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 Now, this kit from Arteza, it comes with um, the drill that you can drill the hole um, that I showed you guys, but I have my own, and 
I'm going to use that one. It's a little electric one that I got from Ariel, who is Creative Mojo Hoso Studio. She is closed right now, but this is where I got it from when I was on her design team. And I am just, hope you guys can see, I am just going to, but I do have a link for this if you're interested. People always ask me about it and I always send them to the same place. All right, I got that hole in there. I'm going to go ahead and use one of the enclosed charms that came with the kit and just drill this here on the inside, not drill it, but use that hole that I just drilled to put the charm in and give it a good twist. Okay, that's that one. Put that off to the side. Okay, and then for the K, I'm gonna put hers right here. Okay, and then for mine, let's see, I'm gonna put it right down the middle. Just a little bit to start. For mine and Kyla, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use our own my own little um pins here i'm going to use these because i want to use gold because i have gold in there and the ones that came with the kit is silver and it just matches with the gold charms that i'm going to use so i had to go this route for these two so there's one just need two and then just screw that in there and if you're wanting to make sure that it stays, you can put a tiny dot of resin on there and then throw it back in the thing to cure. But when you're doing your hole, when you're drilling your hole, you just want to do like a starter and let the screw do the rest. See, then it's, then it's pretty tight. Okay, we're going to start with this one. This is mine. Um... I have some charms that I bought. They're so, so thinking cute from Jody, who is home and heart on Instagram. I'm not sure if she's doing charms anymore, but these were so cute. This one has a Louis Vuitton. Um, I mean, I just love how she did like this ombre. I did a haul on these. And this one actually has Louis Vuitton word on it. And it has um, my name on it. So. I'm going to go with this one for me. And it already has all the little boops and bobbles on it. So I'm just going to have a good old time with that. But for this, I'm going to use like a little charm, a little chain, I mean, to um, just get it together a little bit here. I know you guys love to see me fiddle with charms. I just might fast forward this and then come back with the finished charm. Because, honey, this one might take a long time. No, I'm just kidding. Well, I'm going to put this T down at the bottom here. There. And then I think I'm going to take off this lobster clasp. And just attach it with a jump ring. We have that. It's so cute. So cute. So cute. So cute. All right. And then I got this in a swap. It's a goodie, I believe. Um, and I'm going to use this. So I'm going to just take the keychain part, the paper off here. And it goes on well, the keychain, has a little lobster class and a place for the keys itself. And then it just has hope on here. And I absolutely love that. So I'm going to place this on that. And yes, I do like my, my keychains juicy. So before you say, Tamika, how you going to carry? Yep, I do. So I'm going to get a larger jump ring. And then put it on this chain. And then see where I want this to go. Because this will hang like this. I think this is going to go right here at the top. Tell me that's not cute. Tell me it's not cute. Don't tell me it's not, but it's so cute. I love it. So, yeah, I love that. 
all the noise. I even I even could put more stuff on here. Seriously, I could. But I'm going to set that down. And then we're going to do... Where did I do with Kyla's? We're going to do Kyla's. Ah! And then for hers, I have this phone ring with strap. I got this from the Dollar Tree. And I thought that would be so cute to have a little dangle on here. I also have a little jingle ball and this little, I don't know if I want to put the caffeine fiend or one of these other ones. I know she'll like these cool french fries, but they don't match. So I think I want to put this cool little caffeine fiend on there because that she is. She makes my coffee in the morning and I swear that one little cup that she's supposed to make <laughs> gets smaller and smaller every time a spoonful here a spoonful there um so i think i'm gonna do that one or maybe i think i got some cool little, let me see i think i have some cool little eyelashes i do but they don't match but i could i could but she likes juicy keychains just like her mama Magnetic. Oh, that, well, that's all I wanted anyway. Okay, put a little keychain on. Let's put a little, since she likes makeup, we'll add that to, we'll add that to the mix. Actually, she should be coming here anytime because it's almost time for her to get off the bus. Let's see if we can catch her. Let's see if we can catch a reaction. That's cute. Super, super cute. Just enough to put on her phone. Remember, we don't want it too too heavy but it's lightweight and it's so cute makeup coffee kyla cute love it move that to the side now roberts is not gonna be super fancy there's he is right here oh i forgot i had a sting that said scrap the world somebody made me i'm gonna put this on here Yes. Oh, that's her calling. Hold on. Okay. So, yeah, that was her. I can hear her getting her shoes and stuff off, but I want to put this on real quick and then I'll call her down in a second. That is so cute. All right, moving this along. Uh, let me call her down real quick and then we'll come back and finish the other one. Okay. She went to the restroom and she'll be down. So back to this. I'm going to put some little beads on here on this head pin. This is Robert's. And then I have a little cat uh, on here. And then I'm going to close this loop up with my little looper tool. Like so. That is super cute. Got something for you. Yeah. Why do you change super quick? No, I just took Oh, you took your stuff off. Come here. Yeah. Look at what you got. <laughs> this is so pretty. Hey, you're welcome. You know what that is? A keychain. For your keys. Nope. This you know this backpack? Mm-mm. This goes on the back of your phone. Whoa. Yeah, so this sticks on the back of your phone. And then... I'm going to put it on right now. What is that? An eyelash. <laughs> and then... And a K. And then coffee fiend. I was telling them how... Uh, every oh, caffeine, sorry. Mm -hmm, caffeine fiend. I was telling how every time you make coffee for me, it gets one spoonful less all the time. I have to taste it. You got to taste oh, it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think it gets a little bit. A little coffee. bit extra. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. You're welcome. You I made it. Oh, you made it? Yeah, girl. Oh, I thought you was doing a uh a, a swap review thing. Mm -mm. This is I made this girl. I made this girl. Okay. You recording? I am. Are you gonna cut some stuff out? <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> this is cute. I'll um I gotta take pictures and then I will I'll give it to you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I gotta finish that. I'm hungry. Okay, go eat. <laughs> okay, so yeah, she liked it. Okay, 
So I knew she would like those. So I got this cat and then I have this cute little mushroom. And then I have a tea for Tamika. So that's what I got for that keychain. And I'm just gonna use some, see I just need one jump ring cause the other ones came with a jump ring. I'm not gonna put, like I said, I'm not gonna put a whole bunch of jingle on it, but just a little bit, just enough. There we go. We got a mushroom, a cat and a tea and R for Robert. So super cute. That's cute. Okay. Well, in a masculine kind of way. So that's, that's Robert's and that's Kyla's. And this one's mine because it's so juicy. All right. Um, all the links for the products that I use for Arteza will be down below in the description box. Uh, anything else that I can link will be down there as well if you guys are interested in that. And thank you for watching. If you could take a moment to like this video, I would be greatly appreciative of that. Hit the little like button. If you like what you see, go through the channel, see if you like anything else, and feel free to subscribe. We will welcome you to the Scrap Crew. Um, that's it, guys. I will talk to you later. Bye. Bye.